Hi everyone, it's Bev DeBono. Today I'm here with Tuesday's tip and it is, I am going to show you ideas with the Pyramid Keyhole Border Maker Cartridge. So I have um, a couple really fun uh, techniques to show you. So let's get started. Usually when we use a border maker cartridge, we always, let me just move this to the side here. What we do is we put our paper into the paper tray, flip it back. We will put our border maker cartridge into the holder. This is the pyramid keyhole border maker cartridge. And then we will start punching all the way down. I'm going to now just cut this at the one inch mark on my trimmer. And this is typically how we use the border maker cartridge to make a quick border that will go either on the top or the bottom of a page. And we'll use our quick repositionable tape on this. And this will go either at the top or the bottom of the page. Now this particular border maker cartridge I really like because you could really dress it up or it could be uh, something kind of spooky like a uh, Halloween, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And another way we use this is by punching twice and then putting a strip in the middle. So these are the classic ways that we use a border maker cartridge. But I was playing around with this and I also found out that when I'm punching it and I use, maybe I'll cut it with, um, I'll cut this off with a wavy blade. So I'm gonna switch my blade to a wavy blade here. And I'm gonna cut that probably about an inch again. And then if I snip this off, right at these little points here. These make really cute toppers for a Christmas ornament. So I could put this at the top of an, of a, an ornament, just like this, and it becomes a Christmas ornament. And that's a really cu cute way to use the um, pyramid keyhole, it just, and this happens to be just another uh, border maker cartridge. And you see how fun that is. And I did a page of those. This is just using the pyramid keyhole, oops, using the pyramid keyhole to make a Christmas ornament topper page. So you see how cute that is, and that's just by cutting it at each little section. But now I wanna show you another way that you could use this, and it's using your border maker cartridge as a punch. So we're gonna use it as a punch and not use the other system or putting the paper in that way. So to get started, what we're going to need, three and a half by two inch strips, and we're going to need six of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my border maker punch and use it as a punch. So I'm going to insert 
my paper in at the two inches and I'm going to just make sure it's right in the middle of where it's going to punch. And I'm going to punch, I'm going to punch it out. And I'm going to continue doing this for all six strips. And sometimes you may have a little whisker, like at the edge there, just clip that. And then we will just continue along with that. And you'll see how quick this is going to come together. So I am now going to put this down with the repositionable tape. And I'm just going to put it along the top edge of my paper, just lining it up to the top edge of my paper. And this is just six, uh, six three and a half by two inch strips. I'm going to repeat my pattern. So this just gives it another look. Usually, like I said, we put one row like this. And look, you could even um, layer it. This is such a great punch because it can be elegant or it can be, I wanted, to, I wanted it to be just a little bit spooky looking for Halloween. So now that we have our six pieces across the top, So it's the same effect of the punch, but it looks just so totally different and adds um, a nice element to it. And then I can go and just add um, a sticker or maybe a laser right in the middle of that. So maybe I'll do something just like that. And the other thing, look at this, this nestles. You can nestle these in here. Isn't that fun? That's another great look for the pyramid keyhole. I can also put this down here at the bottom, just like that. Now I wanna show you another one that we're going to use with just the scoring blade and we're going to just flip it um, every other. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with six three and a half by two inch strips, just like we did on this one. But now this time we're going to flip it and score it. So I'm going to use this as my, my punch again and do exactly the same thing that I did before. I'm going to punch all six pieces, just like a punch. Oops. Get a little whisker and just clip it off. No big deal. And I'm gonna line them all up. So we're actually making the one that's at the top We're making this one here. And it's just a little bit of a different technique because we're going to score it and fold it. This is great when you're using paper that has a nice contrast from one side to the other so that when you fold it, it has a great uh, variation there for you. Okay, now we're ready to take our scoring blade and we're just going to we're just going to switch out our blade in our trimmer from 
the blade that's in here to the scoring blade. And we are going to score the top part of the keyhole at three quarters of an inch. So we're going to score these at three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to line my top of my keyhole at the three quarters of an inch. I'm going to score all of them. And the scoring blade is great because it really gives you a nice, clean um, cut. Not a cut, but a nice clean edge for when you're folding. And it's, it's really perfect for that because I like to have a crisp fold. And without it, I don't find that it folds over as, as nicely. So I'm scoring all six of these pieces at the three quarter inch mark. Okay, and when we're done with that, what we're going to do is we are going to now take our repositionable tape. We're going to fold it at the three quarter inch mark that we scored. And we're going to put our repositionable tape on, on the keyhole section here. And then fold it over and tape it down. And then we're going to start laying it on our mat every other so you have a top then a bottom then a top then a bottom so it's going to look like this i'll do this here on the white so you can see it better you have a top and a bottom and fold over on your so the key is to get ones that have a lot of contrast to them. So this one now is going to be the bottom. And then this one will be the top. I'll just continue along. Oh, this one got a little bit crooked there. So we're just putting it up and down and up and down and it's really kind of fun. And that one goes on the bottom so it's um, quite fun. Then we're going to build it on a base. So your base is two and three quarters inch. And then you can start just taping right onto your base and just placing that right in the middle, right in the middle. And then just building it all the way across. Just like that and it comes together very easily the fun part is the different colors that you're using and the textures that you're building here um, it's definitely a lot of, of fun okay so when you're done building your building your border, putting it together like this, and you see how the keyhole is going up and down. Then add a cute little um, decoration to the middle. I used a sticker 
on that one, the spiders. And you know what? I'm going to now just add it to my the top of my page. And I am probably going to put it down about a quarter of an inch from the top, just so I have another layer of color at the top of this. And then I carried the same pattern through down here at the bottom. And then if you like, you can just um, add a nice little um, title here. And I've done it also with um, building it on the fall collection, I did one with um, the fall golden harvest. So there's just some great, great fun little ideas using the keyhole pyramid, pyramid keyhole border maker cartridge. And I hope that you have fun with it because it's um, one that we haven't used a lot, but it's really a very, very versatile border maker cartridge. Okay, so I hope to see you all again. Please comment. Um, that helps me out on um, Facebook and YouTube. And um, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, Bev De Bono Designs. Please subscribe to me there. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.